All right, ladies and gentlemen. We are returning to the Inner Sphere after completing some uh, air combat missions in Ace Combat 7. We are going to attempt another run at career mode. And hopefully we will be able to get a little bit better than a veteran score. I just barely squeaked into better in the last time that I ran career mode. So this time we're going to see if we can get either high veteran or legendary status. I am running a pretty straightforward game. And it looks like I'm starting in a much better start position in the Tarn Concordant. Let's see what we have here. Well, we don't want to go to Taurus right off the bat. Let's see what we have. Not a lot of good options immediately nearby. Uh, but that one might be good. We'll probably make our way over to um, the Arana Restoration somewhat early in the run. So that way we can move kind of up in our rankings fairly quickly on what challenge we can take. That's a good two and two and a halfs down here. Without having to go way out deep into the periphery. All right, it's contract time. All right, we're going to go ahead and start here. I'm going to run 50-50 here. Yeah, we're going to run 50-50. Let's see. I'm going to take my Vindy. My Panther. My Jenner and my commando. And the reason that I'm not taking my spider is because I absolutely despise the spider. I think it's a horrible, horrible mech. And then after each mission, I will be up armoring all of my mechs. I swear if there's like an atlas or something, I'm going to go nuts. Welcome fresh meat. 
Looks like they got at least one medium in there. I don't get any evasion pips, but I do get some defense. I don't want to move in two hexes there. What do we got? Okay, commando. Not a great to hit chance, but I'm not generating any heat, so I don't really care. 50% armor. Do they seriously have a heavy? Waiting for orders. Ordinance received. Target locked. Okay, that's fair. Attack failed. Good to go. Position confirmed. Standing by. Confirmed. That's okay. Really low chance to hit on all those shots. I'm okay with that. This isn't going on my permanent record, is it? Not unless you go splody boom. Standing by. Rolling. Alright, there we go. Now we're making some hits. Another commando. Receiving you. Move order received. Target confirmed. It's alright. Again, what I expected. Low tier pilots are really bad. Internal structure damage. I'm receiving you. That's a big hit right there. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Commander? Targeting four and alpha strength. All right, very nice. Whoa. We are, uh, we're going to go ahead and sprint. Okay, a little bit of damage, not bad. Great hit probabilities, but again, these are lights, and I have bad pilots. Oh, wow. If that had hit the CT, that would have been a kill. I didn't expect that. I 
go ahead and take the shot. Haven't used much in the way of ammunition so far. Okay, couple hit, that's good. Down to just a large laser. If I can get him cored in this next round, that'll be real good. Large laser out of that too. Hope we can that. Commander. Standing by. Engaging target. It's going to miss, but, you know, we're still going to take the shot. Oh, I didn't expect that. That's an LRM-10. Sitting back there. Oh, nice hit. Oh, I took out about half of his firepower right there. So it's a vehicle. Wow. That's that's two um that's two entries. I blow this other side off. That's a kill. Vehicle. Waiting for orders. I'm there. Copy that, Commander. It's all right. No love on that strike. Receiving you. Yes, Commander. That's a kill. It's all right. Enemy down. Ooh, nice hit.
Let's take this one. Even just 20% damage reduction makes such a big difference. Good kill. Commander? On my way. Order? Got it, Commander. Striker, maybe? Something heavier than that. Oh, it is a striker. All right, well, we got him this round. laser and a Jenner good loot It looks a lot better, lot better, less mobility, but a lot better durability and heat efficiency.
Actually, let's just pull the SRM off. Give it a little bit more armor. Running a large laser is pretty impressive, though. Unfortunately, can't run a second large. That would be nice. There we go. 12 feet, it's not bad. Right. I'll get it in the skip. Again, pull the jump jets. Hmm. New equipment available. I'll spend just a couple days on refits. Shouldn't be too hard. Six days total on refits. Let's stuff the spider into storage. All right, now I get a little bit more durable lance. Training complete. I await your command. 
Training confirmed, Commander. Okay. We're gonna go full money on this one. Watch it be a good mech that I want to salvage. Which would be something like a hunchback. Taking out the Panther now. Engaging target. Oh my gosh, you have got to be kidding me. I think I know what the problem is with that. I've been streaming for a half hour. And nobody told me I had a blacked out screen. Did that fix it? Well, if, if it doesn't permanently fix it, if it goes black again, let me know. I have an idea as to what's causing it. Solid hit there. I'm glad I up armored my mechs for maps like this. Standing by. Receiving you. Heading out. Locking on. I 
salvage that. Okay, I'm showing the occasional dropped framed, but it's really consistent right now. A great probability to hit. Miss. Nice. I fully expected that to miss. And the reason that I'm moving up engaging in melee combat is to remove their evasion pips. Locked on for physical attack. Also, I have more armor than they do. Take that. Nice. Good kill. How are you doing tonight, Monty? Nope, this is um, career mode. Did I set it up wrong? Did I get campaign and career mixed up again? Going for rock'em sock'em robots here. This just in. Critical hit. Engaging physical attack. Well. Wow. My stream's a breath of fresh air. Ah, I was playing Ace Combat 7 a while ago, or rather earlier this week, and it was, it was okay. There was a lot of salt, so if you want to go watch me get salty at it, uh, it's pretty entertaining. What kind of AAA titles are they playing? Hmm. Let's see. No damage that round. Assassinate. Full salvage every assassination mission. Which means I'm going to fight a vehicle. 100% guarantee it. Or at least 80% guarantee it.
astronauts, like space engineers? Because if you do it right, space engineers can be really entertaining. Tarkov, Resident Evil. Uh, I could see Resident Evil being entertaining. Oh, goody. Oh, I thought those were reinforcements. That's just the main lands. It's a pair of lights. Sounds like a vehicle. Yeah, I need to move one more hex to get that extra evasion pip. So I picked up um, Tabletop Battletech because I loved this game so much. I wanted to see what its roots were. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, that's a glorious camera angle. It is... So it's really, really cool, but it is extremely tedious. There, there is a lot going on. That's a trebuchet. So it uses a 2D6 system. And you have a thing, I don't know if you're familiar with Tabletop, if you are, let me know and I'll stop telling you about it. Ugh. Unfortunately, that Locust is pretty lowly armored. He's got some great evasion tanking, though. No, D&D is a D20 system. Battletech is 2D6. Um... Well, I'll take that back. D&D 1st and 2nd editions were 2D6. Or at least a D6 system. 3rd edition onward was D20. Uh, holy crap. Preserving action. Anyway, it is, it is impressive. The amount of uh, detail that they put into the original game. So it's like... Um, you have what's called a target number. And if you're familiar with Thaco tables, 
it reminds me a lot of Thaco tables. Um, so your base, your base target number, which is what you have to roll to hit the uh, the target with, is going to be whatever your pilot skill value is. So for the rules, I just got the the base box set. Um, so for the base box set, which is set in the same era as this game, um, you're looking at uh, a pilot skill of four. So a lower number is better, so your pilots are not super great with four piloting. Or not piloting, gunnery. Four gunnery. So your base number is four, and if you move, that's a plus one to the difficulty number. So now your two hit is a five. If you run, it's a plus two instead of a walk. Uh, so a walk is a plus one, a run is a plus two. So it's four. Let's, let's just go with a walk because it's easier. Five, now that I walked, if my target moves, depending on the number of hexes that they move, that also increases that uh, target number. So let's say they move just a handful of, of hexes and get a plus one. So now we're up to six. And then once, once you uh, figure out your weapon range, if you are, um, if you are medium range, that's a plus two. If you're long range, it's a plus four. So now it's a plus ten to hit the target, or it's a ten to hit the target on two d six. So you've got like a 27, maybe 30% chance to hit the target. It's, I'm just like, oh my goodness. It's really hard to hit anything until you get within about five hexes of the target. Though one of the cool things about melee combat is if somebody gets their arm blown off, you can pick up that arm and beat them with it. Well, I tickled him at least. Ouch. I may just have to charge that treb. Like, it's really fun, but I've played about... F oh, he multi-shotted me. Okay, so he's a pretty good pilot then. Oh, wait, unless he has a vehicle there supporting him. Ready for orders. Oh, man, am I fighting two lances here? That locust I'm not concerned about. I'm not concerned about either of these mechs, Commander? per se, but it's their positioning that that's making me a little wary. By. Especially because this guy right here is basically acting as a spotter. This should be good. One hit point. Oh, man. Oh yeah, I've seen the AI use multi-shot several times. I live to serve. Moving to position. Bon appetit. Is that a head hit? Not quite. So that's gonna be uh two injuries right there. Vehicles, vehicles. Uh, yeah, let's just core him. Enemy mech destroyed. 
So anyway, so let's assume that you hit. Uh, then you have to... Uh, you have to roll on the where you hit table. And then if you have something like a cluster weapon, so an LRM or an SRM, you have to determine how many missiles hit. And depending on what that looks like, you can get... Uh, what is that? A panther? Panther's pretty well armored. It, it basically acts like the video game does. It's a... Uh, it's, it's pretty interesting little combat system. It's a fun tabletop game though. If I'm, if I'm being unclear about that. It's, it's definitely fun to play, but you need a lot of time to play it. I should have just fired one of those lasers. I am not seeing any lag on um, anything in Twitch Inspector, on my stream health, or from my uh, internet connection. My PC is showing no lag as well. So I'm I'm not sure. I'm I would blame Twitch's servers more than anything. I am using the low latency option, so it is very possible. Oh gosh. Okay, good. It is very possible that the low latency is, is having difficulty uh, keeping up. I'm showing 60 frames on my screen, so I'm not I'm not sure what the core cause of it is. Standing by. Uh, let's go ahead and reserve here. Copy that. Scorpion. Ooh. I'm here. I'm getting you out of there. Okay, good. The Treb has moved. Oh, I've got to throw off my LRM. Getting an auto cannon out of this, though. That's good. Almost, almost. Engaging target. There it is. Enemy unit destroyed. Roger that. 
standing by. I'm receiving you. I'm going to do some evasion tanking here. I'm ready. Three medium lasers, two LRM 15s. Almost my entire team goes before he does. Good, hitting exactly where I want to hit. Hmm, that hurts. Nope, just vanilla. That's one injury. I'm not going to get this Treb, but I'm going to do my best. He's going to try and run on this next turn, too. If I can get that leg, that hit something good. This is going to kill him. I pretty much guarantee that this is going to kill him, but I'm going to try it anyway. Oh wow, he's got way too much armor left in that leg. This is going to be a core out. I'm really sad. That's a kill. Dang it. 
Dang it. I was hoping to get a Trev out of this. Man, that would have been so good. Oh my gosh, there's still more mechs to fight. What's left? I don't see anything on my sensors. Well, let's just head up to the evac point then. Location confirmed. Heading out. Acknowledged. Order acknowledged. Moving to position. Onward. Move order received. Move order received. Man, this panther is so slow compared to all the rest of them. Ready for orders. Coordinates received. Standing by. I'm walking here. Location confirmed. Order acknowledged. Position confirmed. Yeah, I don't know why it's making me do this. I've seen some stuff on r slash Battletech game about um, they reintroduced some bugs, so maybe they uh, they used the wrong development branch or something. Bad merge. really hoping to get a trev out of that. I hit him too much from the front, though. That's okay, I'll take that. And I'll take that. And I'll take that. AC5s are good, I like them. get three salvage. Nope. We're gonna go full money on this one. I'm trying to get up a lot of money so that way I can start buying mech parts. So I'm gonna use money to get myself into the medium category and salvage to get out of mediums. So in tabletop, if you move into a forest like this, you get what is effectively another point of evasion. Oh, watch this be something like a... Watch this be a hunchback. Or a centurion. Nice. Engaging target. I think that's a vehicle. Gotcha. 
Unfortunately, I went all money, so I just want to core these guys as fast as possible. I didn't realize I was going to fight a Centurion. I think those are Scorpions. Oh, nice. I set up a firing line without even meaning to. See what we got up here. Ooh, a shadow. Uh, this is going to be a really hard mission. A centurion and a shadow. I need my shots to connect, or else this is going to get real nasty real fast. Okay, I think I only took one hit there. Let's see if I can see. T Ooh, no. Leg kill. Leg kill. Okay, I got his leg. Two Shadow Hawks. Hmm. Yeah, but I don't have a lot of durability. If I was in a Lance of Mediums, this wouldn't be too concerning. But, like, that's about to be a knockdown right there. up too close to him. Oh, he has the extra damage. Oh, but he's super hard to hit. Um, let's focus on taking this guy out. Where are you at? 1927. Not great to hit chances, but we'll take it. Yeah, I may do some uh, evasion tanking here. Move order received. Firing. Uh, that might be a. Inflicted some heavy damage. Is that an end cap? No, he's got just enough hit points. I'm here. Um, at the higher tiers, 100% agree. My experience has been that at the lower tiers, um, you want to buy them rather than salvage them. Also, I went all money on this mission, so I just need to kill the target as fast as possible. I knew I was going to get something like this. Alright.
He has damage reduction. He does not have damage reduction, but is really hard to hit. 40%. Doesn't matter really where I go. And go ahead and see if I can punch through this. This, this is going to be real good, real fast. Yes, Commander. Fire all yeah, Commander. If I move through there, I get that damage penalty. Wow, that was really bad. Oh, I knocked out his right leg. Yes. And his CT got hit pretty hard, too. I'm still not sure how you miss a mech that is knocked down. Yeah, that's what I thought they were going to do. Okay, I need to pull that. I need to pull that panther out of there. Not, I'm just not getting the hits I need to connect. Okay, good. The Vindy's taking the, the shots here. Uh, not with the Shadowhawk, no. Absolutely not. Copy that. I didn't move. I'm an idiot. Just not in a good position. Uh, maybe back here will do. Copy that. I'm receiving you. Shadowhawks have the best I'm melee uh, damage of any medium mech. It's like 95 points. It's really, really nasty. Seventeen points left. Take that. Almost, I've almost got him. If she gets knocked down, we're ejecting. My armor's getting stripped off. Target. 
Yes. Okay, excellent. Alright, this is going to be a winnable fight. It might be hard, but it's going to be winnable. You know, unless my uh, PPCs miss. Hold on real quick, I'm getting that alt tab bug. Okay, that's not what's causing it. That's frustrating. My big big one hit. That's the important thing. Uh oh. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ouch. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. What do I have on this arm? Okay, good. Just a small laser. Oh, and it's not even behind him. All weapons committed. I'm here. That's also not the back flank. Oh, I'm frustrated now. All weapons are gone. Ooh, nice. Scored a critical hit. Yes, Commander. Very nice. It's within the minimum range of my PPC, but that's okay. If I knock him over, dang it. leg is it? Is that his right? His left leg. I'm ready for orders. I can at least get Head some up. of it. Is that an in-cap kill? Nope. Alright, I'm gonna have to blow it up. Dang it.
Well, I got some good uh, starting salvage. So that's good. A lot of repairs to do, though. Um, I'm going to actually take the Centurion, since it has more uh, usable weight. Oh, nice, but I got all that. I am one piece away from a Shadowhawk. That's good salvage right there. Oh my gosh, you're out for a month. Two days, not a big deal. One day, not a big deal. I didn't lose anything, so I'm losing a week. It's not bad. How much money do I have? Oh, almost two million. I made some good money on this one. Hmm. I pick him up. Wow, AC twenty plus twos. No, I did not get all three pieces. I just need one more. I got a Centurion and then two Shadowhawk pieces. Those are the first medium mechs I fought. I wish I'd gotten all three. Having a Shadowhawk this early would be amazing. Kind of tempting to get the... To get the other commando as a backup. That's a quarter million sea bills. These plus weapons are super, super tempting. I'll go ahead and pick up this one. Since it's got that accuracy bonus on it. Actually, you know what, let's pick up both of these. That still leaves me with plenty of, um, plenty of money. Let's see what's next. I'm concerned this might be a heavy. With only three salvage, I don't think it'll be worth it. Base destruction, however, will be really good, and since I'm doing lots of um, lots of repairs and healing, this is a good sign or a good time to uh, to do some travel. Twelve of those twenty days will be covered in travel. Uh, let's see. Base destruction, three pieces of salvage, 112k. That should work. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. Yeah.
get the power system upgraded quickly. Oh, unless you're saying I got all three pieces of possible mech salvage from that mission. And yes, absolutely. I wrapped up that job you asked for, Commander. Great, my mechs are repaired. My mech warrior will be ready here in just a few days. Not yet. Receiving you. Yeah, let's do that. Training confirmed, Commander. Waiting for order. Mech warrior training. Waiting for order. Hmm. Rolling. I'm walking here. Enemy detected. Coordinates. Okay, it's a medium vehicle, that's good to know. Oh wow, I did not expect that shot to hit at all. So I'll have to be upset if that was going to be an SRM carrier. Take him out. Firing all weapons. Almost got him. Oh, good, got him. Frag the vehicle. Good to go. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Should have done my other one. 
Oh well. Whoops. Waiting for orders. Rolling. Got it, Commander. I was gonna laugh if I blew one of his legs off there. Is that a Jaeger mech? Or is that the turret? I think that's a turret. Ouch. Ouch. Ready for orders. Heading out. Locking on. There's that leg knocked down. Alright, man, have a good one. Two pieces. Commander? All in Thank you. Yes, Commander. Onward. Engaging. Whiff. Oh, it actually connected. Close, very close. Enemy mech, critical damage detected. Damage minimal. Uh, you lost half the armor on your left arm. I wouldn't call that minimal damage. Should have gone. Reporting major armor loss. Uh, orders. Roger. Holy crap, head kill. Rolling. 
Dang, they're getting lucky with their rolls tonight. Excellent. Enemy unit destroyed. On the move. I'm there. Good kill. One less turret. Waiting for orders. Ten four. Ready for order. Acknowledge. Affirmative. Waiting for orders. Taking the shot. I think I need a heat sink on this Jenner here. Did you miss with a PPC? That's disappointing.
Not a lot of good salvage here. I'm going to pick up a locust just to sell it. And another AC5 just to have it. Hey, Sterilizer. Yep. I finished up Ace Combat, and I noticed most folks weren't terribly interested in it, so uh, I moved back to, uh, to BTAC here. Did they rebalance it? Like, again? Well, hold on just a minute. I could go see what's changed. there's a lot of bugs that have come out with this patch I don't think they're giving themselves enough time to do the proper internal testing Well, I'm looking for the patch 1.4 notes. I'm not seeing it on Reddit. So, Battletech game 1.4 patch notes. Uh, it's been like that for a while. There's the patch notes. I think 1.3, 1 1.2 1 or 1.3 is when they did the big rescaling, and Bulwark only works in forests effectively now.
That is interesting. Uh, yeah, there were no balance changes in 1.4. This was supposed to be just a bug fix and localization patch. I'm going to run this one real quick. It's not a high pain mission, but it is high salvage. I'm going to run that one and then I'm going to go to bed. I'm tired. Commander, receiving you. Training confirmed, Commander. Waiting for orders. Work is finally starting to slow down a little bit for me, so that's that's a nice improvement. Training confirmed, Commander. Let's see here, what's max pay? 189, but I can get five salvage. That's that's not even a choice. I want some heavier max, but it's still a little too expensive, and I don't want a blackjack. Yes, that's correct. It was only 60% instead of 75%, or whatever it was supposed to be. Um, if, if I'm in forest, it's 40% cover. If I'm in forest and brace, it's 60%. Not cover, damage reduction. I'm sorry, I'm tired. Command interface Uh, it's also completely possible that Onward. it was working as expected, and maybe you just noticed recently. I I don't know. I'm I'm literally just spitballing here. Because you still get damage reduction for bracing um, if you're out in the open. And you still get a bonus of... So if you brace, it's 20% damage reduction. If you have bulwark, it's plus 20%. And then if you're in trees, it's another plus 20%. That's how it's supposed supposed to be working. If it's not working like that at all out in the open, then that is a bug. Two max, two vehicles. Hmm, that might be a bug then. 
like you have to brace to get the effects of bulwark in the open. Those look like medium max as little as they're moving. No, that's a spider and a panther and a striker and a scorpion. Oh no, give, give me a minute here. I'll I'll probably uh, run into it. So if you just moved into the open, out. you had Bulwark engaged at all times, unless you sprinted. That's a bug. That's not how it was supposed to work at all. I envy you for that bug. That's a bug I would have loved to have. Permanent 40 to 30, 40% damage reduction? Oh, man. Let's do some evasion tanking here. Uh, Scorpion's actually the scarier mech. And by mech, I mean tank. Oh, come on, buddy. You can't be missing shots like that. Yeah, so that's the expected 40% that I'm getting off of my Vendi there. Waiting for orders. Don't you miss. Wow, that didn't kill him. I don't know what to tell you, man. Standing by. Location confirmed. Where'd that scorpion go? Oh, he's not in the line of fire. Ouch, 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 ouch. I'm losing armor bad. Yeah, you are. Ready for order. Welcome to my alpha. Oh my gosh, stop missing. Well, 85% chance to hit. He's missed with his large laser twice. Oh, so frustrating. Where are you going? Waiting for orders. Here it comes. Oh, I thought that was going to be a head hit. Mm. 
Man, I got structure damage on two mechs now. Armor breach. Journal damage. Yes, Commander. Order acknowledged. Copy that. Also, have you played uh, Tabletop Battletech at all? Waiting for orders. That's only 35 points of damage. Okay, well, I was finally able to make it through the rule book, and uh, I played I played about two or three hours uh, total. And in that time, I have yet to finish a game. However, um, what I did play was really fun, albeit very, very complex. I, I've never played a tabletop game that had this many rules. Yes! He only had two hit points. No, he had three hit points because we got a head kill on him. Alright, so accuracy is determined by something called the target number. The target number... I expected that to miss. The target number is the, well, target number that you are shooting for to hit the mech. It's a 2d6 system, so your rolls are 2 to 12. Um, the base number to start with is a 4, uh, depending on your Mech Warrior's gunnery skill. Um, most Mech Warriors in 3025 have a 4, and a lower value is better. So you start at 4, and then if your Mech uses the walk action, which is what the standard move action is in Battletech, um, you add a plus one difficulty modifier um, to the target number. So now we're at a five. If you decide to run, which is the sprint action in, in this game, you add a plus two modifier. So you can sprint and shoot at the same time. Um... So, so let's assume that we sprint. So we're now up to a 6. We have to, On 2d6, we have to roll a 6 or higher to hit the target. Now, if the target moves, say, 5 hexes, um, they get a plus 2 difficulty modifier to being hit. So now we're up to an 8. And if the weapon is at medium range which for a um, medium laser would be like four hexes. Then there's a plus two difficulty modifier. So now we're at a 10. Let's assume we're at long range, which would be, I don't know, like seven or eight hexes. If you're at long range with a medium laser and all those other things apply, you have to roll a 12 on 2d12 to hit the target with that medium laser. Yeah, it gets really hard to hit the targets really, really fast. Um, if you hit the target, so let's say we roll our 12 here. If you hit the target, you roll on a uh, hit location table. And again, it's 2d6. And if you roll snake eyes or if you roll a 2... Uh, that's a critical hit. And that critical hit always applies to the center torso. 
Now, one of the things that I don't like about the tabletop rules is if you can ha is you can have a hundred percent armor on your center torso, you can take a critical hit, and you can have your engine get damaged. And if your engine gets damaged, you lose uh, you effectively lose five heat sinks. The way it actually works is you get uh, an increase of heat buildup of plus five, which in this game uh, would be something like. I think plus six. Plus six or plus eight heat would be the approximate equivalent. Uh, but, but you effectively lose uh, a bunch of heat sinks. No, 15. Yeah, it would be plus 15 heat in this game. So instead of sinking a base of 30, you sink a base of 15. So, stuff like that can happen to you. You can lose your gyro, you can lose your, your sensors and stuff. So, so let's say that you fire a, a cluster-oriented weapon, like an SRM-6 or an LRM-20. Well, first you have to roll on the cluster hit table, which, okay, we know that you hit, now we have to figure out how many missiles hit. And if you, if you roll uh, really high, the closer to 12 you roll, the more missiles hit. Um, then you get uh, a cluster of missiles that hit different locations. So LRMs are grouped into fives, and SRMs are fired individually. So if you fire an SRM-6, and let's say you roll a 12 again, all six of your missiles are going to hit. Now you have to roll 2d6 six more times to figure out where those missiles are going to impact, all of those six missiles. If you fire an LRM-20 and you get a 12, you have to roll 2d6 uh, four more times because they're grouped in clusters of five. So an LRM, an LRM uh, you know, 10 or 15 or 20, if at least five missiles impact, it's gonna be five points of damage to the target location. Yeah, it's, it's, an, it's a lot of steps to do. It's fun. It's, it's very fun to do. Me, me and my wife have played it, and me and another friend of mine have played it. And, oh, I haven't even gotten to heat management yet. So if your heat starts getting too high, uh, you lose movement points. And then if it keeps going higher, it's a plus one difficulty to your attack. Then it becomes lose two movement points, you have a shutdown risk. Uh, increased difficulty attack, it just keeps going up. I think eventually you get a plus four difficulty modifier to hit the target. Um, there's a risk of ammunition explosions if it gets too hot. Yeah, it is it is bonkers. It's cool, but it's bonkers. I think I lost a viewer from how long I rambled on that. <laughs> What's this nerd rambling about? Oh, you know, stuff and things. So the video game here works very similarly to tabletop, only it seems to be using a D20 system instead of a instead of 2D6. I am personally of the opinion that the rules need to be completely overhauled. Um Yeah. And oh yeah, that reminds me. Um the game that I did play with my wife and then also with my friend it was one mech versus one mech, and we never finished. We, we never got to structure damage. Though my friend did crit on my CT, and jeez, dude, I need to crank up your piloting. That's a myth. Um, my friend crit on the CT, and um, he took out one of my uh, my fusion engine engine hit points. You have three um, three hit points in your fusion engine, so 
we were running two battle masters and battle masters run incredibly hot and so um oh my gosh stop missing Well, in fairness, it was, um... Ouch. Internal structure damage. In fairness, it was, um... Two different types of mechs. So, when it was me and my friend, it was two battle masters. When it was me and my wife, she was doing a Shadow Hawk and I was doing a Wolverine. But still, it got... It was, it was very hard to to play and it was a lot of fun i i do want to emphasize that it was a lot of fun on my way on my way move order So, what I want to do... I'm going to play it with some friends of mine. Um, probably here in a couple months. What I want to do is come up with some house rules to kind of simplify it a little bit. Now, there there is a rule set called um, Alpha Strike. I'm not terribly familiar with it. I haven't, I haven't done a lot of research on it yet. But it's supposed to be more of a... Oh, you've got, you know three companies of mechs on the field. Let's not do all of this math. If you have this many mechs, let's just simplify it and move on. Oh yeah, that would be hard. Now, if you could turn it into like a D&D-esque RPG way of doing it, that might work. Ooh, I got a panther out of this. Take an SRM6. I'm actually going to take a heat sink here. Actually, no, I want the auto cannon. Wow, I got everything but a couple of jump jets. Nice. Like they have, so they have the Battletech tabletop, which is what I just described to you. Then they have the minis game, which is which is Alpha Strike. They have the books, and then they have uh, the RPG. And I feel like the RPG would actually fit in with, um, <sighs> excuse me, would fit in with um, the the tabletop really effectively. Let's go to the mech bay real quick. I got a lot of work to do here. One of the things that one of my friends did mention about it was, are there scenarios that we can play? So that way it's not, you know, person versus person, but more like a DM. So co-op versus the DM and DM crafts a, a different fight. I said, well, maybe, because there's, there's rules for adding infantry and tanks and aircraft and all sorts of things. I'm like, I don't see why you couldn't DM it in some way, shape, or form. Let's drop all of this. And let's do let's do two large lasers. And a medium laser. It's a good fire support. Actually, let's let's do instead of a PPC, let's do two large lasers. Good, that'll give me what I need. And then we can up armor. 
always up armor your max. Oh, here's something cool that I learned from playing the um, the tabletop version. So you can build your own custom X, and there's a couple of tools out there that make it real easy. Um, I was able to build my LRM60 Stalker, um, but uh, if you notice, the right torso has a total of 40 structure points, the front armor has 80, and the rear armor has 40 as your maximum. The front armor will always be double whatever the structure is. The only exception to that is the head, which can be three times that of... Um, of the structure instead of two uh, instead of two times uh, the only reason that this was increased to 16 was to allow you to survive uh, headshots from certain weapons actually let's Because if I drop those two heat sinks. Oh, no, 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 no. Absolutely not. Battle masters versus demolishers and SRM carries. Oh, gosh, that would take forever. But you can do aircraft and infantry and just all sorts of crazy stuff. It's pretty cool. I do like it. Still doing 80 points. That's not bad. How long is this going to take? Oh, wow, 11 days. Um, if I did an SRM carrier's attack, I would turn those all into streak SRMs. And I would just be like, okay, um, I'm going to roll to see which SRM 6 hit. And then I'm going to roll to see how many missiles hit, and that's just how many points of damage that location hits. Or that location takes, because I'm not rolling 60 missile hits. Oh wow, I still have six tons to play with. I could actually put two heat sinks and a large laser. Have an increase in firepower. And heat efficiency. And armor. A little shorter range, but at least I got some long range punch. Oh crap, all my mechs are out of commission. Uh, do I have any more contracts I can really take here anyway? No. We got. Dang it. Got that one. I 
That's a good build. Well, let's go ahead and just move to the next planet. That's a one and a half. I can do one and a halves. Ooh, nice. Manufacturing. Maybe there'll be a good mech there I can use. Oh, good. Power circuits in the day. I really want to play more tabletop, but it's it's hard being an adult, and it kind of sucks. I actually should have canceled my commando repair, because that panther is going to replace it. Let's see what we got. Thunderbolt? Why not? New equipment available. <laughs> Ooh, that would be a fun lance. A Zeus and three Thunderbolts. We'll call it Thor Lance. Yeah. Should probably pick that up. Alright, hope you got some good contracts here, buddy. Ah, uh, I see we are still generating the contracts. Oh, wow. This is all over the place. Between one and three skulls? That's good money. That's, so I can take these two... I'm not sure I can do a two skull. Let's get the second panther online. Uh, sorry guys. Eh, 10,000 sea bells, I'll take it. Let this panther finish up. Uh, let's go into the mech bay here. Send Mr. Commando to Oblivion. I mean storage. And with my two Panthers. 
ready to go. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to drop the SRM on this Jenner. Give it even more armor. Because this is two, three tons here. So I could max its armor. No, I got a piece of a Thunderbolt. Yeah, if I drop this... I can max my armor. And I need to buy a heat sink. Four medium lasers is real powerful on a mech this size. So now I've got, you know, a full extra heat efficiency. So I lose a little bit of damage, but, you know, I'm going from over 50 heat down to 48. Heat 8.5. Heat 8.5. Yeah, so I just dropped eight points of heat, and that's going to be real good. That's just the day. It's worth it. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and close down there. My um, tablet is about to run out of juice, and it is late. So... Uh, we're going to call that a night. Um, been fun so far. I forgot how much I enjoyed this game, even though it's only been a few weeks since I played it. So hopefully we can actually make some progress. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Have a fantastic evening. Oh, I absolutely will. I absolutely will. I want to do tabletop. It's fun. Have a good one, man.